Hi all and welcome to the video. Today I'd like to take a minute to tell a short story. This is from an account of a judicial duel between, uh, by Galbert of Bruges in 1127 between two knights, uh, Guy of Steenvord and Iron Herman, and the account goes as follows. Both fought bitterly, but Guy knocked his adversary from his horse and kept him down easily with his lance as he was struggling to get up. Then his opponent, running nearer, ran Guy's horse through with his sword, disemboweling it. Sliding from the horse, his sword drawn, Guy attacked his adversary. A continuous and bitter encounter followed with exchanges of sword blows until, worn out by the weight and burden of their arms, they threw away their shields and hastened to win the fight with their strength in wrestling. Iron Herman fell prostrate to the ground and Guy threw himself on top of him, pounding the knight's mouth and eyes with his iron gauntlets. But just as one reads of Antheus, the prostrate man gathered strength bit by bit from the coolness of the ground and slyly made Guy think he was certain of victory while he rested. Meanwhile, having raised his hand very smoothly to the lower edges of the male coat where Guy was uh, unprotected and grabbed him by the testicles as he collected his strength for a single effort and threw him from him breaking open all the lower parts of his body by grabbing throw so that prostrate guy grew weak and cried out that he was defeated and was going to die. Now I've written, I've read that exactly as that account was uh, written. The reason why I wanted to tell that short story today is because I think accounts like that give us real insight into the uh, potential brutality of a judicial duel. The kind of duel that Fiori also had in mind when he was teaching his students. Feel free to rewind that and play it back because I'm conscious that it wasn't quite compatible with modern English but um, certainly very brutal account and I think we need to bear things like that in mind sometimes when we are recreating our art. That's the kind of thing that Mr Fury had in mind. Cheers for now and until the next one.